To be a great boss, you must honestly ask yourself if you truly get it, that you thoroughly grasp the job. You must comprehend it so well that there is no question in your own mind or those of your peers in direct reports. Ken Robinson, in his book, The Element, How Finding Your Passion Changes Everything, defines get it as follows. Get it is aptitude, or the natural ability for something, an intuitive feel or grasp of what the job is, how it works and how to do it. Natural feel, biochemistry. One great boss demonstrated that he had the intuitive feel for the job when, as general manager, he was deployed by a national retailer to turn around one of its worst-performing stores. After careful analysis, the company had decided to close the worst of their outlets. On that list was a store that had them baffled. Although it was located in an area with plenty of traffic and great visibility, it continually lagged behind other stores in the system. In a last-ditch effort to turn things around, the company placed this great boss, a manager who gets it, in charge of the store. Several weeks later, the store's sales were making steady upward progress, which delayed the decision to close it. Within a few months, the store was one of the top performers in the system, amazingly with very little turnover and no additional cost. When asked how he had accomplished the feat, the manager replied that he simply asked each employee whether he or she was a box person or a people person. He explained that a box person is well-organized and great at keeping things in their place, whereas a people person enjoys engaging customers and meeting their needs. He then assigned people in each group appropriately, allowing them to leverage their individual strengths. This is a good example of a boss who truly gets it. That natural aptitude and ability is fundamental to being a boss. No public relations or marketing efforts in the world would have made a difference in keeping that store open. It required someone who got how to lead and manage people in a big-box retail store. Now, with this story in mind, are your actions as a boss showing others that you truly get it? For instance, do you use the same approach to motivate every employee, or do you have a deeper understanding and appreciation of them as individuals? Do you have that instinctive feel for rallying everyone according to the way they work best? Imagine how your employees would describe you to their friends or fellow workers. What would they say?